For past week I have been testing different OB2 apps for ELM327 adapters and this is list of 5 best I found. Each of these app will work with any ELM adapter so I am not including apps that will require to have dedicated ELM adapter. All are free although for two of apps I will be also recommending pro version both are under $10. And then each of the apps is designed to do specific purpose. So I will not give you five of the very similar apps. Each app I give you will serve you with different aspects of OBD. So whether you want to understand fault codes, unlock hidden features in your car, diagnose your car problems, get your car ready for emission inspection, track performance or location data. Every app will serve some specific purpose, one or multiple, and it is best I found in this category. Now in this video we will focus on ELM apps. If you want to know which adapter should you buy, I will put quick links in description, but if you don't understand the differences between them, I suggest you watch my video on best Bluetooth OBD adapters. And it's not only ELM327, we also have more advanced J2534 adapters and then some other options as well. So if you're looking to buy adapter, I suggest you watch this complete guide. I will link it up here, best Bluetooth OBD2 scanners. At number one, we have Car Scanner Pro. And if you told me that I have to pick just one OBD2 app and stick with it for the rest of my life, I would choose this app. You can read codes and clear codes. This is one of the few free apps that will give you option to scan all modules. Although it doesn't work 100%, but if you choose correct connection profile, you can scan more modules like ABS, automatic transmission, airbag, or even other control modules as well. It supports full global OBD functionality, so everything that you find in code reader, whether it is freeze frame data, engine live data, checking readiness monitor, so you can make sure if your car will be able to pass state emission inspection check. And it is extremely good when it comes to data logging. With Car Scanner app, you can simply allow automatic data logging. So every time you open your live data, they will be automatically recorded and saved, which you can later open. And when I open my recording, I can choose which parameters I want to look at, for example, from my last drive, I can choose RPM, manifold pressure, oxygen sensor data. Maybe I want to diagnose oxygen sensor problem and I don't need to be looking at 20 different values. I just choose once I want. You can choose display or one graph or separate graph. For me, I like it better on separate. You can turn your display so it is also working in landscape mode. And then I can check data for my drive later so I don't have to look while I'm driving and even zoom it out. It can also save GPS data and then you can look at your drives where you are driving. And then it also got a bunch of extra functionality like statistics, you can monitor your fuel consumption data, you can do acceleration tests. If you got check engine light, you can also use it to clear your check engine light and get rid of it. In the past week, I tried hundreds of different OBD2 apps. And if you add all of their functionalities together, the car scanner app would still be most useful. There is a reason why this app does have more than 10 million downloads with 4.7 positive rating. For my Toyota Corolla, I could even do some ECU coding so I could allow opening windows from my key fob. It is really amazing how this app will give you even pro functionality functionality. So whether you want to monitor your driving data or you want to diagnose your car problems, the car scanner ELM OBD2 is the number one app for that. At number two we have OBD2 library and this app will explain trouble code you have and offers you best solution to fix it. So for example if you have code PO500 you select on bottom your code PO500 go to find code it will give you code definition, possible causes and diagnostic steps to fix this issue and then also links to more information on my website. So if I click this link, it will direct me to full guide for solving this trouble code. And this guide will explain the fault code in more detail and then it will also show you real cases of solving this code by mechanics. So for a lot of these codes, I actually dug up the old service cases and I made these overviews. So you can also see what is the most common faults and how actual mechanics would go about solving this issue. 
So basically what OBD2 library does, it narrows down your problem to just few possible causes and now how you determine which one is actually responsible for your issue is by doing engine diagnostic. And I actually have three 55 minute lesson that will serve you as introduction into vehicle diagnosing. So if you want to be able to diagnose and fix your care problems on your own, just go to link in description, sign up and I will send you training completely for free to your email. Now at the time of filming this is not released yet and in case you are watching this but you cannot find the OBD2 library app in Google or Apple App Store you can simply just go straight to my website iamcaracter.com and just here on my page if I input PO500 press enter you can get exactly same thing on my website so you get this overview same like in the app and then click here to get full diagnostic guide at number 3 we have Carista app which can unlock hidden features for your cars and even though they have dedicated adapter the app will still work with any ELM adapter as well. Carista also does support some global OBD modes like reading and clearing fault codes and reading some engine data. However it is not that advanced as previously shown car scanner ELM so for diagnosing there is better app which I already showed you. However the strength of this app is in unlocking hidden customizations for your vehicle or disabling annoying features like seatbelt warnings. Now how many of these customizations will you be able to do for your car is very dependent on car model. But luckily for you, you can check out customizations for your exact model on Carista website. You have to go to carista.com slash supported cars, choose your brand, already you can see this will be not available for all brands. So if your brand is supported, select brand, then you will select model, for example, Corolla. You will choose generation. Now I can click here for more detail and this will show me all possible customizations for my car. So they are categorized. For example, if I go to things and warnings, these are customizations mostly for my seatbelt warnings, disabling or enabling them. And then you have bunch of other categories. So if you go to carista.com slash supported cars, you can look up customizations for your model. And now to use customizations, you will have to buy Carista Pro version. They offer three subscription plans, but you only need one. To do customizations, all you need is to buy just one month. It costs, I think, like $10 for one month. In this one month, you can do unlimited customizations for your car and then also for unlimited number of other vehicles. So just buy one month, do all customizations you want in your car and then simply cancel the subscription. And don't worry, your customization will stay. You don't need pro subscription and you also don't need your adapter to be plugged in vehicle. You can take it out, you can disable subscription and your customizations will still be saved in your car. And number four, we have Track Addict, which is up for collecting data about your drive. So whether it is engine performance data or location data, this app can not only track it, but you can also export it and use computer software like this Race Render, which can make this overlay for my video. So instead of that black screen, I would put video of me driving the car and I will put these gauges map like this is fully customizable. I just downloaded it, so I'm not sure how to exactly work with it. But from what I have seen so far, you can custom basically everything of this page and make very cool looking video so not only you can collect data you can also use it if you want to make video for example like POV drive or just regular drive and put data from your OBD2 scanner over it even if you don't export your data you can simply view them in app check it out this is my recorded drive there are also a bunch of parameters you can customize I am mostly interesting how this will look like in video so I will go make video with this right now and here is the result
hope you liked my showcase video. And now one important detail about collecting this performance data. If you want to make video, you will need faster ELM adapter, something like this OBD Link MX because it got better speed than other ELM adapters. You can also use some other one, but it must have good speed. And now how do you find out if your adapter does have good speed? Well, for that we will use the fifth of best OBD2 apps and that is the ELM scan adapter validator, which will show you ELM version inside your adapter and then also measure the speed. So once you connect your adapter, I can go to connect Bluetooth OBD Link MX and it will give you speed number. So this ping you want to have as lowest possible. Six milliseconds is excellent. We also have a verdict. And then here are different ELM versions and you can see which functions of each version it does support. Now, most important I would say is it must support this V1.4 and everything below. It means that it comes with sleep function. So you can have it connected in your car at all times it will not drain your battery sleep function can detect when you leave your car and then it will stop draining current from your battery once you come back and turn on the ignition the adapter will start working again i hope this video helped you find some new obd app for your elm adapter and now if you are interested about buying new obd adapter or obd scanner once again i suggest you go check out the video best bluetooth obd2 adapters where i explain all of them in much more detail